I'm James Christodoulou, Chief Financial Officer of Versus. I'm here today with Harry Theravangada, our Chief Technology Officer, and we're here to talk about Versus and Genius. Harry, how are you? I'm doing very well. Harry, we have our commercial launch of Genius now, but it's been a road to get here. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what we've done the past year that brought us to this point. JC, we started out with a release last year in June. We brought basic reasoning and models to this world. From there, in December, we got to planning and action selection that got us one step closer to the intelligence loop. And now we're introducing learning in real time, which completes the intelligence loop. Harry, you speak about the intelligence loop. What does that mean? So let me describe it with a personal example. I grew up in Southern India, never seen snow before. The very first time I saw snow, I didn't know how to walk in the snow. And this is unexpected. This is novel. This is new. So I had to rethink the way that my brain adjusted to that. And next time I knew how to walk, I would not slip on the ground. So I learned from that experience and adjusted my thinking on that. So that's the loop you're talking about. It's four simple steps. You understand the world. You reason about it. Then you create a plan and you act. And based on your actions, you learn new capabilities. And this loop continues on and on in an infinite manner. And that's what the intelligence loop is. And that's what genius does. Yes. It continues to learn and improve and optimize based on your experiences and what's specific and contextual to you. Yes. So genius and its intelligence loop seems to be very much like the human brain that's constantly gathering data, constantly learning, and always improving itself. That's exactly right. How do we differ from large language models and other AI technology? The technology behind Genius is fundamentally different. Large language models are designed or built from a large amount of data, as the name suggests, and they're one size fits all. They're general purpose, and they're used to make decisions across a variety of different scenarios. On the other hand, a Genius model is built from your data and models cause and effect relationships. And it's very specific. It's like having an expert. Think about this example scenario. You're trying to get a brain surgery. Would you rather have the brain surgery be performed by a brain surgeon or your family doctor? That's where Genius is. Genius is the expert. So to me, it seems like while large language models go very broad but very shallow, Genius remains very focused but goes very deep and gains expertise in that one area. Yes, that's exactly right. Genius is a toolkit for building these expert or specialized domain-specific models. And it also has a set of APIs and SDKs that allows you to integrate these models into other agents. And it comes with an enterprise portal that allows you to manage the deployments effectively. So think about an enterprise. You have multiple users. You want to deploy Genius to all these users, manage licenses, you want to monitor how these models are performing in the wild. You want to do telemetry. All these are enabled through this enterprise portal. Harry, you, your team, and the rest of Versus have done incredible work to get us to this point. But where does Genius go from here? This is our Kitty Hawk moment. It took 3,000 years to get to the first flight. But very quickly after that, we started having commercial flights. That's exactly where we are with Genius. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be an ecosystem of models, agents, and all other capabilities. For example, think about a street corner. You have a pedestrian with a smartwatch, a street light, and an autonomous car. What if all of these communicated with each other to create a much safer crosswalk? Wouldn't we want that? That's exactly where Genius can take us. It sounds like 2025 is going to be a very, very exciting year for Versus. Harry, Thanks so much for spending time with me. I always learn so much when I'm with you. Thank you, Jay-Z. It was a pleasure. <laughs>